So next we're going to be looking at the other um, trig identities or whatever um, to solve the integrals. So first we're going to integrate uh, powers of sine cosine. So we're going to use the cosine squared plus sine squared x equals 1. And we're going to do it for at least one power is odd. So my first example is... Hold on. First example is we're going to have the integral of 3 cosine cubed x dx. So obviously cosine cubed, that's odd. So we're going to separate it out, pull out the 3. 3 times the integral of cosine squared x plus co times cosine x equals dx. From there, you can now substitute with your identity. So that's going to be turned into 1 minus sine squared x um, times cosine x. And from that, you can even simplify more. So it's going to be cosine x minus sine squared x times cosine x dx. So you just multiply it out cosine x, obviously. And then you can use your u substitution. So I'm going to, I set u equal to sine x and du is cosine x dx. From there, go back up to here. We're going to have 3 times sine x plus c1 minus the integral of u squared du. And c1 is not really important because you're going to combine it with c2, which is going to give you c3. But going along the steps, so you're going to have 3 sine x minus u3 u to the third over 4. Hold on. Is that right? u to the 3. Yeah, no. It should be u to the 3 over 3, my bad, plus c1, and fix that. Do, 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 do. Um, because you just took the integral of this thing up here, and then you have a new c, which you combine with that c, so you're going to have c3. Then from that, plug back in u, so 3 times sine x minus sine cubed x over 3 plus c, and that's your final answer. So the next one I'm going to be using the 2 cosine squared x equals 1 plus cosine 2x, or vice versa, the 2 sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine 2x. Um, and this I'm going to be using when the power of sine or cosine is even. Um, the other one we just did was odd. This one's now for even. So my example is going to be cosine squared 2x dx. And the first thing I'm going to do is just use substitution. So u is going to equal 2x, and du, therefore, is going to be 2dx. So that's going to give you the integral of cosine squared u du over 2 equals, and I went ahead and pulled out the 1 half, 1 half cosine squared u du. Um, from there, I went ahead and did the um, identity substitution. So I'm going to have 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2u over 2 du still. And from there, I went ahead and pulled out that 1 half. So I have 1 fourth times integral of 1 plus cosine 2u du. And from that, I went and did u substitution again. <laughs> Paper. So we're going to have 1 fourth u plus sine over 2u over 2 plus c. Um, from that, I went and still did finish off u substitution, 1 fourth times 2x plus sine 2 times 2x over 2 plus c. And from there, you can simplify to your final answer, which will be x over 2 plus the sine 4x over 8 plus c. So this next problem starts off with a power that's odd, but I'm still going to be using cosine or sine um, squared, or not squared, the coefficient's going to be even. And to get to the first step, I'm just going to pull out a cotangent. 
So I'll have 6 times the integral of cotangent squared x plus, or times cotangent to the first x dx. Um, from there, you can go ahead and sub in your an identity for cotangent cotangent squared and you're going to have 6 times the integral of cosecant squared x minus 1 times cotangent x dx and now we're just going to focus on our well first actually I lied distribute out the cotangent and that's going to give you double integral um, and from that we're just going to focus right now on the first integral so go ahead and do u substitution for the cosecant squared x cotangent x dx so u is going to equal to cotangent x, and d is going to equal to negative cosecant x dx. So let me write out the u substitution. You're going to have the negative integral of u du. Go ahead and take the integral of that, u squared over 2 plus c, and then plug it back in. So you're going to have negative cotangent squared x over 2 plus c. I don't know why I just said that. Negative cotangent x squared over 2 plus c, same difference. And then you're going to go back and look at the other integral, because we had two integrals to begin with. So you're going to have the integral of cotangent <coughs> x dx equal the ln of sine x plus c. Go ahead and combine both the integrals that you just got. So you're going to have 6 times negative cotangent squared y squared Oh man, negative cotangent y squared over 2 minus ln of sine x plus c. And go ahead and just solve that out. So you get negative 3 times cotangent squared x minus 6 ln sine x plus c. And that's your final answer. Here you should look at all of it too if that helps. So for this example, I'm going to be using the secant x squared equals 1 plus tangent x squared. And our integral that we're solving is the integral of the square root of tangent x times secant x um, to the fourth. I don't, yeah, dx. So, first I um, rewrote the integral. <laughs> well, not yet. First I rewrote the integral. There it is as 1 half x and secant squared x times secant squared x because from there you can use an identity and change one of the secant x to tangent which therefore you can combine with the other tangent so you have now tangent to the 1 half x plus or times 1 plus tangent x squared times secant x squared from there I went ahead and combined the two tangents so we have tangent to the 1 half x plus tangent to the 3 half x times secant x, secant x squared. And from there, we're going to use u substitution. So u is going to equal tangent x, and du is going to equal secant x squared dx. I went ahead and did the u substitution part. This is back to the beginning. Here's the substitution part. And from there, you're going to get, you integrate it, 2 thirds u to 3 halves plus 2 sevenths u to the 7 halves plus c. Plug u back in, so you have your tangents back in. And there's your final answer. 2 thirds tangent x to the 3 halves plus 2 sevenths tangent x to the 7 halves plus c. Here's one last example. We're going to actually find the integral of pi 6 to pi thirds. All the other ones have just been, you have seen your final answer. In this one, you're going to go ahead and use a calculator, um, get a roundabout answer, not the exact. But, anyways, you have 2dx over 1 plus sine x, and I'm going to be using the identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So, for this one, you're going to actually have to, um, I just forgot what it's called. Conjugate. Yeah, that's it. You're going to have to use your conjugate. Um, you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, blah, 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 so you can use the identity. 
So that's my first step right here. I have 1 plus sine x, um, 1 over 1 plus sine x, and multiply it by the conjugate. So that's going to give you 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x squared. And from there, you can then use your identity to substitute 1 minus sine x over cosine squared x. And then again, secant x um, times negative sine x, or secant x squared minus sine x over the cosine x squared. So from there, you're going to use substitute. U is going to equal cosine x, and d will then be negative sine x dx. Go ahead, and that's your original. You're going to plug that in. And you're going to get 2 times tangent x minus cosine squared at 1 over cosine squared x from the integral of pi 6 to pi thirds. Um, I guess I should explain that step a little bit more. So I pulled out, that's your um, original. I pulled out the 2 and I plugged in the identity that we just gotten up here back into that one. And then from that one, I went ahead and did another identity to that. So then I just plug that into calculator and get this number thingy, which equals that.